Hello, welcome back to another video. I hope you've got a cup of tea. It's about half past four at the moment. Um, I apologise for the microphone being sort of in front of me. I was trying to clip it over there and it didn't fit. Um, yeah, so I'm afraid this setup we're going with today because I fancied being cross-legged on the bed instead of in the chair. I hope you'll also appreciate that I recognise that for all my other videos, I've been wearing exactly the same hoodie. So I've taken off the hoodie and yeah, there you go. Spice up everything. I hope my landlord won't come around soon because I know he's meant to come and I don't want him to disturb um, this little ramble I'm going with. Anyway, today's video is, it's kind of about a couple of things, but we'll start off by talking about mornings. So I find that for me, um, mornings, I think I've discussed this previously, I love mornings, anywhere up until about sort of 12 o'clock and then I like late afternoon, evening, so anything past sort of 4 or 5 o'clock, such as now, hence I'm filming this video now. Um, but I always find that I, I never know what to do in the mornings and I get a bit distracted. And I've read a few books now and sort of on the topic of what to do in your morning and I'm not still not sure, <laughs> to be honest. There seems to be sort of an unlimited options and I, I feel like I sort of get the paradox of choice. No, that's not the one. Decision paralysis, that's the one. Um, about what goes on in the morning. And so I've tried like multiple things. The last sort of week I've been dabbling with morning pages and I started off by writing it in my notebook. And I went okay um, and then I started typing it um, on Bear because I wanted to start using Bear because it looks really pretty. But the issue I had was it took me like half an hour to do morning pages. And although it felt great, um, sort of getting my thoughts out there onto paper or onto my, my screen, I, I couldn't like help but think for that half an hour. I was sat at my desk and then I went to sit at my desk, if that makes sense. And so it sort of um, prohibited other things I could have done. And, and so what I've concluded what I want to do in the mornings is I want to do exercise in the mornings because so far I'll sort of work in the morning and then I'll do exercise in the middle of the day and then I'll um, continue, well I'll attempt to continue work in the afternoon. However, as soon as I go to exercise at what, like 12 or 1, the rest of the day is a bit of a write-off to be honest because I get back at about 4 from town usually, it's time to make food and so actually nothing gets done. So this is why I want to try and have exercise like right at the start of the day. Um, and probably saying, why exercise? I mean, it's probably um, quite obvious, though I don't know. So I've been dabbling with sort of the last couple of weeks with going to the gym again, um, which I hadn't done since like a year and a half ago. And it, it still isn't ticking any boxes for me, but I just sort of, I just sort of did it because basically I needed to get out of the house. I wasn't enjoying being sat here all the time. So sort of if I did exercise here, I went, to, yeah. So I, I got a gym membership at the local pure gym. It's a really nice walk down there. Um, but I, I've been really missing yoga again, to be honest. Um, and one thing which turned me away from yoga originally, to be honest, even though I've been following Breathe and Flow and um, they're all about everyone do yoga, no matter who you are, um, is kind of the social aspect of it in the form of, I'm just a bit embarrassed and it's really weird because it, it's like a personal thing which doesn't matter um, but I find that I get such like um, I don't know just such joy and like it really helps with everything like my flexibility and my strength and so I don't know why I should be embarrassed um, I just kind of am so what I've concluded from this short video short little rant from me is that I'm going to try and do like half an hour to an hour of yoga every morning because then I'll sort of have done exercise and I can always do more later on in the day but if things like pop up I've had that time and I find that whenever I do yoga I always feel like really good and replenished afterwards and so I think if I was to do that like straight away as soon as I woke up I'd then be able to go into sort of working at my laptop or like coding or something um, and I wouldn't feel the pressure in the middle of the day and then sort of miss out hours in the middle of the day um, so that's really why I, I've decided to, to start yoga in the, mid, in the morning because previously, I mean currently, for example this morning I woke up um, I know it's a, it's a Saturday, it's a Saturday today, though you'll probably see this on a Monday or Tuesday um, 
I woke up and I made a cup of coffee while well, I made my cafetiere. And then I, I sat watching YouTube here. And it was really nice because I was watching videos which sort of gave the atmosphere, the vibe, as I'd say. <laughs> yeah, it just sounds cringy. Um, but they just like make you feel good. And I want to just do those things myself. Um, and I find that like yoga does that. And so in order to stop myself from sort of just, I don't know, basically not like not being sure what to do. So I ended up doing nothing because that's pretty common, I think. I am saying in this video <laughs> to make sure that I do it, that every morning or as many mornings as I can, I will do yoga first thing and that's it. So I think in order to sort of reduce friction, you know, reducing friction, environmental design, all that jazz, how I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and um, put out my clothes the night before, um, maybe like pre-sweep the floor. One thing that also puts me off doing yoga, by the way, is because I lived in a shared, live in a shared house. Nothing wrong with living in a shared house. But I have to do it in the living room, and everyone sort of keeps their shoes on, and it's just a bit mucky, really. Um, well, it's, yeah, it's just not the ideal place, and so I suppose that puts me off doing it a little bit. Um, yeah, that's about it, really, for my rant. I barely had any of my tea. Speaking of tea... I've been wanting to try um, Leaf. Well, I, I went to Leaf with my parents when I first got here in Liverpool. It was really good. And <laughs> I know they do lots of tea. So um, I've, I've gone on their website and I want to try out a few of their green teas as well as some other ones. So I think I'm going to order, I think it was the Jasmine, I'm probably going to butcher this, like the ja Jasmine Huang Xin Ya, I think, and the, the Dragon Well tea. Those are the ones. Um, so I'm going to try those at some point if I um, pick up the courage to buy them. Because, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.